with me. It is like 10 minutes till 11. I am on my way to go pay this ticket. That's one thing I don't understand. They told me, the state trooper told me that they cited us both, me and the, the driver, the truck driver. But now I gotta, because according to what I was told, I shouldn't have filed a claim. I should have had his insurance company file the claim. Well, that's the issue. I don't have any of his information. State trooper told me he was going to release that the day of the accident, and he never did. So now I got to wait until the accident report to get that information to come back on the truck driver. And all states said, yeah, you have to have that information in order to go back after him. And says we would have to go back after him for our money that we're spending out. Well, I had never had an accident. Well, I've had accidents, but not like this before. Where you had to go back after the other driver. So now I got to try to get the accident report. And I was told it won't be available from the state trooper's department. Because that was on a state highway that won't be available for 10 days. Well, that would be sometime the end of this month. So now I got to fight with the insurance company back and forth with trying to figure out what to do because I did test drive a 2008 Toyota Highlander SUV all-wheel drive something similar to what I that Mazda it was just a year older and it's made by a different manufacturer but the issue that I'm ha running into is the bank said that they would have to the insurance company would have to at least give me what they say it's worth and the other issue is they would have to give me I would have to have the other loan paid off before I can get another loan um, so I don't know what's going to go on with that because I haven't heard from their total loss department yet the adjuster said they should call me either by today or by the end of the day tomorrow well I told the adjuster, I said, yes, I have another vehicle. I said, but, I said, this one I really don't want to drive very far because of the fact is, is there's mechanical issues with it. And the adjuster said, well, I completely understand. He goes, but you have to see it from our point of view. We have to make sure we're not being screwed either. And it's like, okay, I understand that, but... The state trooper told me to file a claim with my insurance company. I said, what about him? And the state trooper said, at the time, the, when the state trooper got there, he said, I can't release his information until I get the report done. Well, all I know is that we were both cited. The, the truck driver was cited left of center, and I was cited for failure to control. But the state trooper said if... He would have never went left of center. My vehicle would have not got hit in the accident. So I don't know how any of this is going to work because now I'm fighting the state and all that. And yeah, the, the truck driver got a ticket, but now I got to figure out what to do. But yeah, I, like I said, I got to go up there and pay this one. And then I got to probably catch up with him on the route somewhere. Because he told me, he said, I can do the whole route for you. He said, or you can catch up with me when you're done doing everything else. So I don't know what I want to do. Because I don't know where he's going to be at. And I don't know if the Allstate Total Loss Department's going to call me or anything like that. At least the bank knows what's going on. I didn't keep it from them, so... They at least know what's going on but like the bank said the bank said we'll make sure that you're involved in it with the payoff and everything on the mazda it just makes me mad because i didn't even have that vehicle not even a week and then that happens 
and I loved that vehicle. It rode and drove nice. There was nothing wrong with it. And then that happens. And to get it fixed, it was like over, by the time you include parts, labor, paint, it was like over 8000 Because I guess there's a computer that controls the headlights and the airbag, and that got damaged. I didn't know. And since those were the projector halogen headlights, those cost more, so those were about $1,200 for both headlights, $600 a piece. Go figure, I get a vehicle that's got all this fancy crap on it, and that's going to cost more to fix it. Go figure. And he said part of the frame got bent a little bit, but not enough, but they would have to straighten it, and it would would have cost $100 to straighten it. Okay, he said two hours worth of work to straighten it because it bent in one spot and caused three of the welds to bust. So it would have had to been straightened, so that was about $100. Then the support beam, that was another $200. The grill, the fender, I got a list of all the parts and the estimate for it, and I think that's what made me mad. But yeah, I'm going to stop it right here. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.